We're at part nine of the Portal 2 commentary. That was cool. He's like, yeah, we're part nine. He got all electronic for a second. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. From the other from the other side of uh, you hearing me talk? Yeah. Yeah, I was afraid that something like that would happen. It's not. The, it wasn't that bad, was it? No, it was pretty bad, but um, I don't know if we recorded <laughs> that. <laughs> that. No bullshit include. He's like, yeah, it was that bad. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> but I think it's going to record your side, not my side, of your voice at least. So, well, should remember, be fine. I'm, I'm using my wireless headset, so I'm really far away from my computer. Yeah. Just trying my best because the living room is occupied at the moment. Yep. Now we're finally getting on to the new uh, tests that Wheatley has us do, which are pretty much just some of Gladys' tests, but he just writes tests on them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and counts them as his kind of tests. But you're definitely right. This game probably would have existed if Wheatley wasn't even involved whatsoever. <laughs> yep. <laughs> No, I'm not probably right. I am right. <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe something else. Something else happened. Something yeah. else could have happened. I love how Wheatley like plasters his name in front in front of Aperture instead of calling yeah. it Aperture it's Wheatley Laboratories. I love that. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah, made this test myself. These are definitely the uh, most difficult pu puzzles because, you know, it's the final couple of puzzles. Most of them usually involve the uh, funnels and I think the hard light uh, bridges. But mostly these funnels here. Because that room that we were previously in should have been the first time we were introduced to the funnels. Oh, I do love that little joke that I was going through too. <laughs> Never mind, solve it yourself. You're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently Gladys has a little kick to her that if she tries to tell anybody how to solve it, she'll get shocked with a thousand volts of electricity. <laughs> she fucks <laughs> around with Wheatley so bad with it, too. Yeah. Because, well, she's just a pure oh, bitch. Yeah. I love how she loves to, well, to keep her in uh, character throughout the whole game. Even if she is a potato. <laughs> you did a good job press, pressing that switch. No, no, it's a pressing button. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> really, it was pretty much designed to be stupid, so of course something like that will happen. If they do make a Portal 3, that is, if they do, I still am convinced that Valve cannot count to 3 for the life of them. But if they do make a Portal 3, what what, do you, what would you want implemented in here? Well, like, what do you think they can add something new to keep the gameplay fresh? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm asking you a question, Chris. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I agree. What? Yeah, exactly. You weren't paying attention whatsoever. <laughs> So I was zoning out. What, what was the question? I asked <laughs> if they do make a Portal 3, if I'm still convinced that uh, Valve can't count the three word shit, but if they could yeah. make a Portal... You missed. That, yeah, I missed. <laughs> but if they could make a Portal 3, what do you? What would you like in there that could, um, that they would implement in the game, which would keep, uh, which would probably keep the uh, gameplay fresh? So like, what do you think? New? Yeah, like what do you think they could be that could be put in that game to make the gameplay, you know? Like I said, it's still fresh, still new. So, you know, it doesn't huh. seem like we're just playing, like, Portal 2 again or Portal 1. Um, God, that's a good question. I'm trying to think. Of, like, the first one had those little, like, like ball things, right? We talked about earlier in the, in the commentary. Yeah. And the and second one never, has these and funnels never. and the bridges. Mm -hmm. And then the gels. I guess you could, like... Maybe add a fourth gel or something. I don't know what it would do, but something different. Or like a new. Like I'm trying to think. Think of something that would work, like a new thing to put through portals. Like. Well, there's one thing. I there's one gimmick I think they could actually put in here that would be kind of cool. But then again, it's a gimmick I really don't like a lot. <laughs> that's anti gravity. Yeah, that's true. They could do that. That would be pretty. That would be pretty cool if you had to turn the room. Into or like underwater portals, like underwater chambers, I mean. 
Yeah, that would be cool, you know, because the whole basis of, you know, Portals, it's like it's a physic puzzle game, so you put all sorts yeah. of physic-based uh, gimmicks in it, and, you know, you're going to have a lot of fun with uh, just trying to solve these puzzles altogether. Uh-huh. I'm trying to, th trying to think what else. Um, they, they did so well with this game, just I... Frankly, I don't see that too many uh, flaws with this game, to tell you the truth. I guess, I guess because it's just a puzzle game, and there's really nothing too demeaning about it, because, you know, like I said, it's a puzzle game. It's not like one of those action-adventure games or whatnot. It's just a puzzle game, so it's going to be your average mm -hmm. puzzle game where it's going to be not... Uh, depending on what puzzle game it is, you know, not too long... And, you know, not too short. Just in between. I was trying to think if there's any other type of gimmick do you think you think they put in there. Do you think they would, it would be cool if they actually have you uh, have four portals instead of two? That would be cool, but it would get a little confusing. Unless there's two players. Like, multi but then that would be... Like, do the multiplayer in the, well, like, in the main story. That would be kind of cool. So, like a co-op game? Yeah. I mean, that might kind of break the game a little, though. Um, no, it probably would. No, it probably they'd have to change it. They would have to actually design um, the design the levels so that it can fit a uh, two-player co-op. You know, kind of yeah. like how the co-op is in here. I love the co-op in here. It's, yeah, I, but it's um, so well it, done. It would it would also have to work for just single player. Yeah, true. What I think would be cool is to have like secret exits. Like if you if you search fine, you can find like a, a white wall somewhere that you're not that you don't have to go through, and it's like a secret exit. And you can like go a different path. That actually would be cool. Alternate paths in the yeah. facility. That actually be yeah. pretty kick ass. Mhm. Mm Alternate pathways or secret shortcuts. Yeah. All that good stuff. You know, stuff you well, would like, see in a platform. Secret backtracking track. <laughs> like oh, you, you shit. go through that would something suck. and you're like. Like you go through something and then you're like, "Fuck! I gotta do these two port two chambers again now." <laughs> oh, that would suck. <laughs> yeah. And then it'll be just pulling a Sega at that point. <laughs> no, but seriously, I think that the whole like um, like um, secret exit or just like alternate path ideas. I think that's kind of cool. I love this. The blue screen. Oh, you don't <laughs> show it off. <laughs> uh, I, sh I showed off the blue screen actually earlier. Oh really? I don't remember that. <clears throat> But yeah, blue screen, I love that. I'm gonna jump right into it, if I remember. Do I jump right into him? Because you can use that faceplate and use yourself to break the TV screen there. I wonder if I do do it. Do I do it? Yes, I do. He's so much in denial when it comes to me breaking the monitors. I just love yeah. all the stuff that Wheatley says. Yeah, this part's usually not really much of a pain in the ass, but you've got to make sure to get your ass out of there quick or the turrets will mess you up. Yeah. This one and I think the final puzzle we get until, you know, the part he, where he kills us. Oops, sorry, spoilers. <laughs> um... <laughs> Are probably the, the game. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> um, are probably the puzzles I actually, uh, uh, no pun intended, puzzled me the most. I had to add that in there. It's because when I first jumped over here, I actually did not notice that little uh, back way around to get to the button the first time. See, there we go. I shall have the blue screen. <laughs> Press any key to continue. Where the hell's the any key? Uh, loading screens, loading screens, loading screens. But hey, at least they're not as bad as Portal 1's loading screens. Those were pretty abysmal. I love how on the blue screen, you know, it says, uh, um, you know, the error and everything like that. It's like, press any key to continue. Where's the any key? <laughs> Does it say where's the any key? No, that'd be funny. Oh, okay, I was, I was gonna say, like, I don't think it says that part. <laughs> that'd be funny if Wheelie, if Wheelie said that. It's like, press any key. Where's the any key? <laughs> <laughs> 
This one's another one that uh, took me a while to also figure out too. It's mostly just trying to get these uh, two bl blocks over. You have to block the laser, then you have to unblock it, then you have to block it, then unblock it. But overall... I don't remember this puzzle at all. <laughs> I remember this one. Well, I, I probably played this game a lot more than you have. Yeah. I've beaten it like three or four times. I don't know how many times you've beaten it, but I just don't remember it. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> it's momentum puzzles are just awesome. Mm -hmm. Do you think Portal 2 gives a fair challenge? What? Do you think Portal oh. 2 gives a fair challenge? Do you think like any yeah. casual person can you know pick this game up and play it? Yeah, I believe it. I think any casual person can play this. It's kind of, if I were to rate it one out of ten on difficulty, I'd probably give it like. <sighs> it's weird because it's one of those games that's gonna be like. It's always going to change. The first time you play it, I'd say I give it like a seven, and then the, like the second time you play it, it's going to go down because you're going to know it, obviously. So, but I'd probably say it's about it's about a seven out of ten on difficulty. It's not that hard. Yeah, it's not that but hard. But it's a little. But it's a little. It's got some tricky parts. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does provide a nice challenge, and like I said, you know, once you get the challenges all done with, you know, you feel you feel very accomplished. Even, even though it may have taken you yeah. like a half an hour or something like that, you do feel very accomplished for completing it. <laughs> I know for destroying that monitor uh, where Wheatley was, you need to use a laser to destroy it. Uh, oh, before uh, before we go anywhere, I just want to say I give it a seven out of ten on difficulty. That is not my rating on how much I like the game. The rating on how much I like the game is different. So yeah, before you <laughs> only people say you only give it a seven, blah blah blah. No, I give it a seven out of ten on difficulty. It's a completely different rating system. It's not how much I like the game. Okay, sorry. We get back to it now. <laughs> <laughs> Assume that assume our <laughs> subscribers are like that. I don't know about our subscribers, but are those other fuckers that are not that are just gonna watch this video and say, "Oh, fuck these people!" Blah, 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 Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Apples and pears, fish and chips. <laughs> Do you think they have uh, too many? Do you think they have too many lasers here? Uh, I think they're just a little short. You should have a couple more. <laughs> That's not enough. <laughs> Need to have more. This lasers. is not. This is one of my least favorite levels. Like it's, it's just tedious. But just uh, just having to just move the laser around. Yeah. Uh, kind of. It doesn't really appeal to me. Oh, it's a very short puzzle. I mean, it's very simple to comprehend. You know, you just need to get the platform to move, and you gotta just move the laser in the right position. You just need to. You need to turn off mm -hmm. the grid, and you also need to move the platform, too. Do I catch it? Okay, good. Because I remember one time that I was playing it that I completely missed it by a whole lot. And just because of how the camera was, like, just the how it was angled, it looked like it was going to catch the, uh, the block just fine. But no, I, like, missed it by, like, at least about, like, four inches. Shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> There like, goes oh, my fuck. Oh, there goes my <laughs> laser box. I probably pissed you off while you were recording this. <laughs> yeah, it probably did. Because you have to wait for it to get all the way back over there. <laughs> I know. Wait for platforms, a pain in the ass. Yeah, so I, uh, I guess I was right. I did have a feeling that I was gonna miss it. <laughs> yeah. Just on the way you thought. Huh? Yeah, it's just not the way I thought I did. But that, but that part I was talking about where I missed it by four inches, it did happen to me once. Uh -huh. I just wasn't too sure if it was in this recording or a different run I did of the game. I think it was, I, that was actually in my hey, PlayStation. Like, pick it up this time. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to make sure it stays next to me. There is no way that I'm going <laughs> to leave yeah. it to the side anymore. I learned my lesson from then on out. <laughs> yeah. Get the laser up here. A better position. There we go. Easy as that. But of course the door will close as soon as I get to the other side because then I have to put the lasers in, in the same position. And then again, it was easy as that. Yeah. Do you think that they, if they do, when they do make a Portal 3, or if they do, you know, I have to keep saying that because yeah. 
If there is no Half-Life 3, if there's no Dead, uh, Left 4 Dead 3, <laughs> what, what, what makes you think there's going to be a Portal 3? And seriously. Do you think uh, it would be cool if they added like more platforming and more um, puzzle solving in the outer parts of uh, Aperture Science like where we are right now? Huh? Okay, never I was, mind. I was, I was listening to Wheatley, okay? Because I like Wheatley and then... In the the glass, I mean Glados's um conversation. The glass. Wheatley's <laughs> <laughs> talking to the glass. I don't know. <laughs> well, no, what I was getting at is that we were outside a bit in the aperture. Uh, Aperture Laboratories, and um, do you think if do you think uh, if they make a Portal Three, do you think um, a cool thing to implement is a uh, more puzzle uh, more puzzles to do uh, uh, outside of um, Aperture's uh, Laboratories? Yeah, I think that'd be cool to do like to like make it outside of the laboratory and have to you know, like use be able to use the portal gun like in a city. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, it would be awesome. Like maybe you're trying to escape from that, like, and like someone's trying to get you back into that there, and you're using the portal to escape and like run away, <laughs> the portal gun to like shoot portals and get your way out, and then the guy chasing you has a portal gun too and is trying to chase you. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, that's scary. Better not be slender, man. <laughs> <laughs> With all his tentacles, he could hold up to eight portal guns. <laughs> That'd be actually pretty interesting for a horror game. <laughs> yeah. A zero killer with a portal gun. That'd be actually some pretty intense shit there. I had a really hard time in this area to try to figure out, like, where the hell is the exit? Because I noticed that, um, you know, the little... Uh, the smallest, um, like when you look across the ramp, you can see like this section mm -hmm. that you, it looks like you could land on, but from the perspective you're standing at, you know, it doesn't look like you can. Until you uh, go over to where I placed the portal there, it's like, oh yeah, there's the exit and whatnot. Mm -hmm. This one I really do love. You have to get enough momentum to go off the ramp and also try to make it inside the tunnel there. Woo! Yeah. I love that. Every my cousin was online at the time of this recording. You're going to love it to death. No, I love loving things to death. So it kills until you're dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it kills you until you're dead. <laughs> yeah, like I said, because of those character interactions, is the reasons why I come back to them over and over again. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>